A city's population in the year 1960 was 287,500. In 1989, the population was 275,900. Compute the rate of growth of the population and make a statement about the population rate of change in people per year. All right. So basically, we're trying to find the rate of growth or rate of change, and we know that the slope of a function represents the rate of growth, rate of change, rate of decline, right? Whatever you want to call it. So we know that we basically have two more or less points, right? We have two pieces of data, meaning in 1960, this was the population, and in 1989, this was the population. So knowing those two things, I can plot those points on a graph, right? So let's say this point, well, the x-axis, let's say, represents year, and the y-axis represents population. So in the year 1960, this is obviously not going to be to scale. This is the year 1960. The population was about, what did they say? 287,500. So I'm going to plot the point where those two would intersect, right about there. And then in the year 1989, so let's say that this is about the year 1989, the population is now, what did they say? It's a little lower, right? 275,900. So let's plot that point where those two would intersect. And now notice, if I were to, now here's the thing, right? We don't know if this is a straight line that connects these two points or that if the, the graph went something like this, right, to get to those two points. So they want to compute the rate of growth. Basically, what, the, what, what really they want to calculate here is they want to calculate the average rate of growth, okay, throughout the period. So we'll just assume it's a nice linear line for now. All right. And that it doesn't really look like it connects the points beautifully. Let's just, and that doesn't either. And nor does that. But that'll be good enough. Okay, got to let the OCD go sometime, right? So basically what I realize now is we want to find the rate of growth so I can calculate the slope. Now, I didn't need to create this picture necessarily, but hopefully the picture kind of gives you a little better intuition about how to look at the data, right? This point here represents, or these two points represent points on the line. How do you find the slope of points on the line? Oh, right, you use the slope formula down there at the bottom, right? The slope is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So these things that they gave us are really points, right? The coordinates for the first piece of data was going to be the x value was 1960, and the population is 287,500. Great, and then the next one was 1989, and that was going to be uh, 89, and that had a population of 275,900. Okay, so let's call this our x1 and this one our y1. Let's call this one our x2 and this one our y2. And let's now plug it in. It's always good, important to define the variables, okay? So y2 is going to be 275,900 minus then y1, which is 287,500 minus x1, which is, excuse me, x2, which is 1989 minus then 1960. Let's do some math, right? So let's do the numerator. So 275, whoops, 275,900 minus 287,500. And we get now negative 11,600, meaning this is really the amount of people that has changed in that period of time, right? And then doing the denominator now, 1989 minus 1960, that's going to be 29 meaning this is the value now of years, right? So essentially, just interpreting this at this point, the population changed by a negative 11,600. And what does that mean to change by a negative value? It simply means it lost, right? That's all. It just lost. If the final value is greater than the initial value, you know you, excuse me, if the final, yeah, if the, excuse me, if the initial value is greater than the final value, you know that you lost something, okay? So now what we have is we can simply now take this and now uh, find the, uh, the uh, division result of this, right? This is the amount of people that changed over the 29 years. But now what happens if I want to find the amount of change per year? Well, you just do the division, right? So it's going to be negative 11,600 divided by 29. And it changes by exactly negative 400. So meaning the slope is really negative 400. 400 what? Again, 400 people per year. So this city lost 400 people on average, 400 people per year. Okay, over, and and that 
results per year accumulated over 29 years resulted in 11,600 people leaving, okay, in total. So hopefully that helps, guys. All right, we appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching. All right, and if you can help out, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. It's so awesome. All right, we really appreciate you guys, and uh, we look forward to helping you with more problems. And by the way, we got a whole bunch of other videos, probably, probably solved a bunch of problems you might be looking for. Check us out. All right, we appreciate it. Take care.